slugs. Goddamn sea slugs. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins! As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we're all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those with not a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Idiot, his lock of hair. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my airship. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Fox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. You, you just complicate the narrative. Look, are you there? I miss you. You were the only one who ever... You were my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Did you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you.
Jesus, it's ripe in here. Say, somebody, uh, fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. Sneaking around. Here I come. Oh, escape, pig. Comstock promises there's nothing to be worried about, but I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic, near the base of my statue. I've set the code to 8371. Daisy sacrificed herself. Set me up to kill her. To, to turn me in. To turn me into what? A killer. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. I'm no martyr. How did you do it, Booker? How did you. Elizabeth. I'm not Booker. And neither am I.
Ricky! Sample in a haystack. There's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why, some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? My interest is the future health of your children. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins! Now, I know there's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why, some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? My interest is the future health of your children an ounce of Now, I know there's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why, some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? My interest is the future health of your children. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure.
Seems like Fink and Su Chong were sharing their research. Like the Lutessas. Cross reality collaboration. It all makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables. It's a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would Fink care about that? Songbird. He wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so I left them to die. Imprinting failed. I can't be right. Clearly they formed a connection between Songbird and me. How? Oh. I was so young. I, I always remember him just being there. Must be a prototype or something. Is it a human? Does it matter? Hypnotherapy. 
on the songbird. How'd that go? About as well as you'd expect. Booker, the little girl in the film. It's me. My God. Oh, I, rem I remember he... He was... He, he'd crashed into the tower. I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking... Thinking, I, I don't know, that something would happen, but... But he just lay there. Moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. Reappropriating. Check for stragglers. Spread out. for this girl. Next, you hear me? I'll find her. seen her before. It 
has occurred to me that this breakthrough regarding the songbird casts my arrangement with the Oriental Doctor in a new light. What more could be gained by this continued partnership? What secrets that I could not answer for myself? Su Chong can only offer table scraps, and Jeremiah Fink has richer meat in mind. What you got there? Hang on. Just grabbing anything that looks halfway there. Over here! Take a leg! Uh, since when did you become Lord and Master? for this girl. Daisy really even had a choice. What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. She chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities, did I ever even have a choice? Did you? Booker thought he did. <laughs> Look where it got us. Right back where we started. Ooh. 